I'll tell you one thing that isn't good in the hood before we start things off. I'll tell you one thing that is definitely not feeling good in the hood. And it's a streamer, Jack, Do Jack Doherty. Do you guys know who Jack Doherty is? I've just seen this on my timeline. I thought, you know what? What a better way to start the show than showing you this in completely unhinged, ridiculous video starring the live streamer and content creator, Jack Doherty, crashing his McLaren and making his friend's face bust open with blood and stuff. Absolutely wild scenes. Thank God no one got badly hurt. It doesn't look like it, but Jesus Christ, look at this. Just look at this, look at this, please. Yeah. So if you, if, you, if you can't see the video and listen via the audio only, there's this kid driving in a very expensive looking McLaren down a highway, AKA motorway. It's torrential rain. It's literally spitting down. The wipers are non-stop moving. It looks rainy as fuck. He's on his phone, holding his phone in one hand. He's steering a car in another hand. And his friend in the passenger seat is recording him live streaming. So he's distracted three ways. With the live stream, with his phone, and via driving. Absolutely insane. And look how fast he's going down the motorway in this rain while looking at his phone while also streaming. Ridiculous. <laughs> He speeds up now to overtake a car and then he suddenly loses control and then bang smashes his car into the side of the railings it goes blank no watch out watch out the car the, the phone's obviously still streaming they're still streaming the screen now his friend is completely covered in blood his mclaren's completely totaled he's still recording look look at his friend this probably might get me taken off of YouTube. Hopefully it doesn't. But look at his friend's face. Look at his friend's face. Absolutely covered in blood. He definitely will need some stitches. It looks like on the top here. It looks like he's got a wound right there at the top, um, right above his eyebrows. So clearly he's got a complete split open. Luckily, this kid didn't smash his McLaren into somebody else. It looks like he just smashed it into the guard railings on the side. The only thing I'm confused about, though, the car looks completely totaled. And it wasn't going that fast. I wonder if it's because... This is like a luxury, fast sports car thing. So maybe it's made of like fiberglass or something very light because that entire front end is completely gone. And he didn't look like he was driving super fast. But again, maybe he was driving a lot faster than it seemed on the camera. Holy fuck. Look at the car. Look at the car. Oh my look at that. Look at that. Look at the front. The front is completely gone. That car is basically totaled. The front of it is completely gone. The front is completely fucking gone. But to be fair, if I'm not mistaken... Don't McLarens have the engine at the back? So that might explain why it's completely smashed on the front. Maybe because it's um the, the the engines at the back and not on the front. That might explain why it's completely caved in like that. But yeah, I'm surprised it flattened itself. So what? The barrier is hardly damaged. Look at the barrier. The barrier didn't leave a dent. I, I know those barriers are designed. I think that's the point of them, right? Those barriers are designed in a way where they're meant to absorb most of the most of the impact from the cars. Because if you look across the road. There's like a residential area and the idea behind those barriers is that they can they can stop cars from like tumbling or flipping over i think that's the main reason if i'm not mistaken i remember i was watching like a youtube channel about it and they were talking about the you know the innovation on the barriers and stuff and how they work i think that again i don't drive so forgive me for being you know dumb what i'm saying my god bro look at the pieces on the mo look at the pieces on the motorway and he's still streaming by the way this kid is still streaming bro, my whole fucking car bro he's still streaming He's still no streaming. Fucking way. Don't get me wrong. That car deserves to be totaled for the paint job alone. That paint job is horrendous, right? The paint job is fucking horrendous. If you can't see it, it's a blue McLaren. And it's also covered in like what looks like splatters of paint. It looks like he might have did it himself. It looks like he literally got a bucket and like splayed paint all over it like Jackson Pollock style. But with less panache and obviously. But the base model, the car itself is fucking gorgeous. Black rims, red disc brakes. Like it's a fucking gorgeous McLaren. And he's just totaled it because he had, he wasn't paying attention. Fucking crazy. Oh my gosh. There's Luck no fucking, Michael here. Look, look, Michael here. Yeah, he, he's still on that phone too. He gives his, he, he gives his phone, he gives his phone to his friend who's standing there with blood covering half of his face. He gives his phone to his friend to keep recording him and streaming, to keep recording him via, via the stream. Could you imagine? The guy's probably concussed. The kid's probably concussed, I'd imagine. Maybe got some whiplash and he gives him the phone. Here, 
Most likely that kid didn't have his seatbelt on. Most likely they both didn't have their seatbelts on. Here, here's a phone. Here, hold this quickly. Let's create content. Don't get me wrong, he's doing a smart thing because, you know, why not make the worst? Why not make the best out of this horrible situation? But God almighty, these kids, man, these new era kids are fucking crazy. He's standing there, looking at the car, flicking on his phone. He's trying to figure out what to do. There's another friend there. He's loving he's loving the fact that he's covered in rain, basically. I, I, I'd imagine too. Out there, covered in rain. He's probably loving it. There's a random girl there also. I'm not too sure who that is. Maybe his girlfriend. They're standing there. They're going to figure out another content thing. Look, 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 look. Here we go. More, more, more content. He's got the phone. <laughs> so recording. <laughs> oh, this. Imagine being the parents of these kids, man. Imagine being the parents of these kids. At some point, you have to think, you know what? Natural selection, man. Natural selection. Natural selection is gonna take my kid. There's nothing you can do to this kid. You can ground him. He's just gonna rebel anyway. Send him away somewhere. He might get worse. So if you let kids like this just do what they want, like if you imagine being this kid's parent. You're like, I've given this kid everything. He's got everything now. He's a multi-millionaire from streaming and making content. And look at the idiotic thing that he's doing. On his phone, texting or checking the chat and streaming and driving with one hand and trying to speed. He tried to overtake a car, by the way. That's why he crashed. He tried to overtake a car while it's raining. Probably with not the correct tires on or whatever. Doesn't know how to handle the power of that McLaren also, most likely. You know, put too much fucking, you know, oomph in a fucking throttle. And then bang, the back, I think I think the front gave away, or not the back, I think the front gave away, gave way, and then he, he, luckily he was able to kind of steer it out of the way of other cars, that was a lucky thing, or maybe the other cars made some distance, I don't know, but Jesus Christ, look at this disaster. I was, I was going to keep going, keep going, here on the phone, and you yeah. can leave, come, make it look good, <laughs> look through here the whole time. Don't, don't make right. it look good, what? Make it look good. They're standing in front of the car, they're trying, they're trying to look hopeless, yeah. look. He's got his best thumbnail face on. <laughs> oh my god, man. And that car's worth what? How much how much does a McLaren go for? Let me check my phone. Um is that a 720? That might be a 720, right? Is that a 720? I don't know. How much do they go for? For sale. Saying anywhere between 1750. So 1750. 75 sorry to 1 million allegedly this mclaren 720 i think that's a car he's got i'm not too sure it could be that it could be something else but regardless it's you know it's a lot of money let's say a half a mil upwards he's completely totaled it because he was driving and looking down on his phone and also live streaming absolutely crazy i want to watch it one more time all the way through about stopping let's watch it one more time all the way through about stopping Crazy. Look, look him. He speeds here. He speeds there, and then completely goes. No! 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 Oh! No! Watch out! Watch out! I love the hazard. I love the crash sound, by the way. Holy shit! Dur, dur, dur. Holy fucking shit. Oh, Michael. Are you okay? Yeah. Holy fuck. Oh my god, bro. My whole. Somebody screams his name, bro, I think, my whole over there. Car, bro. I think it was getting stream sniped. Somebody screamed his name. No fucking way. Oh my gosh. There's no fucking. Michael, here. Michael. It's crazy yeah, how much too. damage the front of the car has got, man. It's absolutely totaled. Wow. Oh my god. I also realize he stands with a pigeon toe. I think got guys like this who have that kind of pigeon toe stance with that haircut, they're always a you know they're always a bit muppety, you know? They're always a little bit wanky, those upper dudes. You know what I mean? Those kind of guys that walk around like fucking Dave Portnoy with a little pigeon toe. They're always a little bit wanky. He's got that thing about it. I just noticed it now. He's got a little pigeon toe going on. Make it look 
it look good. We looked through here the whole time. Go, go over my clue. Make it look good. <laughs> you got nice to with you? Yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah, he's got a little pigeon toe uh, thing going on. Look at a little pigeon toe stance. Yeah. You know, I love it. I'm all right. Who? I wonder who those people are in the, in the yellow. Who are all those people in the yellow? Who is that? But yeah, what a crazy situation, man. What a crazy situation. These new content creators are fucking entertaining to watch. I know that he's got a bad reputation online. A lot of people hate Jack Doherty because I think, oh yeah, he's that kid who walks around live streaming with big security. Yeah, he hires these like super big black guys and he just starts antagonizing people. You start doing these pranks and being a bit of a, a nuisance to people. And I think one time he, he was a nuisance to some dad and the dad was about to fight him and the security guards always pulled him back. So, but he uses it to his advantage. He'll say some wild shit to somebody and just hide behind his security, like neon style absolutely people hate him hate him so much he's like the new version of like you know jake paul and logan paul and stuff so um but he also makes a lot of money and i think i think it's just from streaming i'd imagine so because like how like affording a mclaren from streaming is fucking sick that must mean he has a mad amount of subs to be afforded a, a mclaren and you'd imagine th these type of kids like to floss so they don't really gain any points like they don't gain any clout out of leasing they like to show off that yeah i've, I've bought this cash cash which might not be too i'd imagine at some point when you're like that wealthy it's probably a smart decision to lease a car like that owning it probably might not be the best long-term investment i don't know maybe it's the opposite maybe these cars are very rare or maybe there's a long waiting list so if you do get one and you buy it cash you could probably resell it for a bit more or get your money back which you don't usually do for cars so maybe that's smart actually to buy it outright but he probably owns it outright let's just say that for lack of a better you know for lack of more information and yeah, man, like he totaled it for pure negligence. It wasn't even like he was, you know, drunk or anything. He was just driving a car like that with that kind of power. Like, I, I can't imagine how much horsepower it has. I can't imagine how quickly it must go 0 to 60 or its total, you know, miles per hour time. But I would imagine McLarens, they're, they're, basically track, they're basically track cars, right? They're track ready. So that car's probably fast as fuck. Um, probably for an experienced driver, it's hard to manage. It's hard to handle. And then he puts, because you see it when he's driving, he's driving pretty slow. And then he puts his throttle, he puts his foot down. I'm not too sure if it's, I'm, 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 I think it's the same in America. Because in the UK, there's like different, different lanes in the motorway. Are, you're meant to drive at different speeds, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I don't drive, so don't, don't, don't kill me for this. But I'm pretty sure different lanes um, pertain to different speeds you're meant to be driving at. So he should have really been in whatever the slow lane is and just followed whatever that speed limit was especially when it's raining it makes no sense to like try what what are you doing but everybody else was you could see everybody else in the camera was driving really slow which is probably why they didn't crash into any cars because they could react really quickly because they're all driving within the speed limit he was the only one that fucking thought he could floor it and of course flooring it and it just you know I f it looked like the front gave way which is really interesting you'd fit the backward but i think the front gave way and then when the front gave way it just like it was over it was fucking over um but yeah in the rain a car like that i just don't get it i just don't get it man but the floss would be him the next day streaming again and then buying a new one you know showing us like going to the fucking dealership and buying a new one that's going to be the biggest floss but um i have seen on social that kick have uh, banned him um but i think it'll be temporary these type of people they don't get banned forever but it's not the greatest reputation it's not the greatest thing for kick to have a streamer like this you know being so reckless because this could have ended really badly. That car could have blown blown up. He could have careered into like a family because that's what happens all the time. And whenever people get involved in wrecks, it's always so unfair. Especially when the person is making the mistake, they never get injured. It's always other people that end up fucking getting injured or fatally passing away or something. Um, but happily or luckily, anyway, no one got crazy injured, and everyone looks to be okay. But his friend had had a a pretty big cut on his forehead, um, covered in blood, and he's like, "Yeah, hold the phone." <laughs> hold the phone mate <laughs> you gotta earn your keep fuck the blood earn your keep you you want you want free rent huh you want some fuck you want free essentials you want me to keep buying your essentials for you you want fucking unlimited slides well hold the fucking phone <laughs> oh, absolutely hilarious hold the phone hold the phone but yeah glad everybody's okay I'm glad everybody is okay